Good evening, YouTube and CTS1120. Today we're going to be talking about MD5, Message Digest 5. As some, as some of you may know, it is a hashing algorithm. I'm going to be showing you a demonstration of how to take a plain text and turn it into an MD5 algorithm using Java. So let's take a look. All right, YouTube, so here we have the Java class, hashing main, I'm gonna use some imports, standard char sets, meshes digest, and j option pane, as well as time unit. I use some code from this website, from these websites to develop this program. So what it's gonna do is take the username and password and display the MD5 hash. To two strings, U and P, U for username, P for password. You have here the string that gets the instance of ND5, char sets, displayed in the UTF format. You have a string builder. You have hash and bytes. You append it to this format of string. And then here you have a two string to display the output. And now these are basically simulating the authentication of a server. Not exactly how it works, but it's just giving you that visual confirmation of the TCP handshake, the authentication, <coughs> excuse me, and finally the password hash, keyword password hash being stored on the radius. And here you have time in seconds, sleeping for five seconds in between, and sleeping for three seconds. Let's go take a look and run it. Gabe Tech Channel 305, like my channel name. Okay. Not like most people's passwords. Let's put password123. Hit OK. And there you have the hash of password123. First step TCP handshake successful. Gabe Tech Channel 305 successfully authenticated to Radius. And MD5 password hash stored on radius. And there you have it. So you can see how that string, or in this case in CTS1120, is called a plain text. Plain text was password123, which we inputted over here. Then we got the ciphertext using MD5 to get this over here a lot more secure although md5 is not secure anymore a lot more secure systems are sha one two and three and many more thanks for watching